Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Norwich City Career Mode. In this episode we will have two games, but the first one we won't see here because um, uh, we have two uh, monthly scouting reports uh, from our scout. We don't have really any good players in there, but the first game of the episode will be against Blackpool here, who Norwich so uh, soundly beat in real life, nice 4-0 victory. And uh, Blackpool aren't in relegation, they're only getting down in 18th, which isn't too bad for them, and we've still only lost two this season. Coming into this game, we're 31 games unbeaten, which is superb. And this is our squad. We can go back to the usual squad, because all the players are back from international duty. And also, here is Blackpool squad. Not too bad, but um, I wouldn't really say that's a championship quality, but the first chance comes here for Blackpool, and also the first goal would come here for Blackpool. Um, four minutes, 30 seconds in, and Blackpool take a shock lead. I don't, I think I'm going to blame John Ruddy for this one, because that was pretty rubbish goalkeeping. I don't know what he was doing. Should have, like, take a few steps over and caught the ball, but instead he went for a terrible dive. It was a good cross in, not a bad header, but then when you look at his dive, it was rubbish so uh so the first chance for us comes here is gary hooper is taking on the defenders goes right goes to the shot and lewis the goalkeeper makes a good save and they're able to get it away but graham dorans has a corner here he swings it in towards bassong who heads it up in the air smart idea but unfortunately it doesn't pay off because it hits the bar and it's cleared away by blackpool but only as far as cameron jerome who gives it to Gary Hooper. Gary Hooper spots Houlihan on the right-hand side. Houlihan takes on Clark, the defender, and how about that for a miss? That has to be one of the worst misses of the series from Wes Houlihan. Not very good. And when that when, um, when that didn't go in, I thought our, we, this wasn't going to be our game. But then when this shot uh, did go in from Graham Dorans, I thought it was going to be our game. Lovely goal from him. Really good build-up play by Norwich. Graham Dorans got the ball, hit it first time. And for a centre mid, who's, Graham Dorans isn't really that attacking-minded. Uh, I think this is his fifth goal this season, which is great for him. But uh, here you'll see the replay as well. It was a lovely play by us. Great build-up play. Eventually the ball comes to Graham Dorans. Like I said, he smashed the ball. And it was a lovely goal for us to put us back in the game 1-1 one, one. there's a chance of us winning this now and yeah just to confirm that is Graham Dorn's fifth goal this season but Hooper picks it up here gives it to Cameron Jerome Cameron Jerome takes on Velasco the defender who wasn't having a good day beats him gets in the middle on his right and I don't know how Grant uh, not Graham Dorans Cameron Jerome missed that because he's been in superb goal scoring for but Martin Olsen picks up the ball here sends it over towards Cameron Jerome who beats Velasco once again uh, goes for the shot Lewis makes the save and tips it over the bar so still 1-1 one, one, uh, and 73 minutes played uh, bad defending from Blackpool. No, no, no. This is a wrong chance. As Delfonso goes for the header and he so nearly scored. If he'd have put a teeny bit less power on that, Blackpool would have had the winning goal. But here, Gary Hooper comes down the right. 78th minute goes to the shot. Lewis makes the save and Perkins clears it away. But or, here you see me make um, three substitutes. Uh, Bradley Johnson coming off for Johnny House and Ofoe coming off for Hughes and also Adrian coming off for Houlihan because the next chance comes to the, one of them subs right away as Olsen throws it to Jerome. Jerome passes in towards Adrian, the sub, takes on Perkins, beats him, and scores. So I will take full credit for that goal because uh, I thought to bring on Adrian, uh, who's got a bit more pace than uh, Houlihan and maybe a bit more attacking, uh, younger, and he has a bit more potential. So brought him on, gave it to him. I didn't expect him to score uh, because I was just bringing on three subs just for fitness reasons. But the ball went to him. I couldn't have asked for it any better. Really good goal. Beats the defender and it was a lovely finish. But goalkeeper could have done better. Maybe that's asking a bit too much. And Adrian, that's only his third goal of his championship uh, season. But as long as everyone keeps chipping in with goals, they all count and we go 2-1 up. So it's a lovely turnaround. But Jerome gets the last chance of the game here as he takes it past Clark, beats Clark, beats the goalkeeper and wins a penalty. No, he doesn't. And I don't know how this wasn't a penalty. Being a bit sarcastic there, no, seriously. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty. The goalkeeper sweeped him. who's going to easily get to the ball, but stop talking about that. Uh, here you see our youth squad monthly report. It's looking pretty rubbish, to be honest. And here we have some uh, a scout report from Finland. We saw one of the guys who looks superb there. Really good potential. 
Uh, but we don't pick up any others out here. Our youth squad is looking rubbish. And Nathan Rabmond said he wants a bit more money. So we do go and give him some money. So I'll talk a briefly a bit about scouting. Um, I'm scouting Finland because I know they have a good, lot of good young players. And I do have a, spe a nice special connection with Finland. I, they do hold a place in my heart. So, so that is why I'm going to be scouting there. And hopefully we can pick up some young players. Uh, when Finland offer me the national team role, I'll probably accept it. But here we have a game at East Point Arena, which is the stadium... Uh, we use uh, for Carrow Road. Uh, we share this stadium with Leeds. Uh, when Leeds play here, they call it East Point Arena. When we play here, we call it Carrow Road. So we see, once again, that Cardiff got another loss. So they're trying to do everything they can to not get in the top two. But here you see Leeds' team. And in a second, you will see our team. So we're running away with the league. This could be one of the record points totals. I think the record points total uh, like is with Leicester last season. They, I think they got like 106 points, which is ridiculous. If they did this in real life, uh, 31 games. Uh, no, the Blackpool game we uh, won, so that will be 30. We are 32 games unbeaten currently, which is amazing. The first chance of the game comes as Gary Hooper goes down the right hand side, takes on Michael Turner, our old boy, goes for the chip instead of taking on Michael Turner, but uh, it eventually hits the bar. But Warnock picks up the ball here, gives it to Bianchi. Bianchi gives it to Antonucci, who's second top goal scorer, gives it back to Bianchi, who shoots. Ruddy makes a superb save. He's definitely the best goalkeeper in the league by a country mile. And yeah, another good save for him. He's kept so many clean sheets this season. Graham Dorans picks up the ball here, gives it to Cameron Jerome in the 23rd minute. Cameron Jerome taking on Pierce, the defender, who manages to keep up with him, so eventually has to go for the shot. But Silvestri makes a good save for Leeds. And that will be half time, nil nil. Not really much to report, but also that will be full time. Nothing happened in the second half. So if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like. Hopefully, there'll be more interesting episode next time, and I'll see you for that.